Hey guys, we're here at Gen Con 2015 in the tournament hall, which is where the real action happens. I am with Evan Johnson over here. Evan, how are you? I'm doing it's, excellent. It's great to be how are with you. you. I'm I'm excellent, and uh, you know we're we're gonna do this interview, but we're really uh, I don't know we're pretty casual around here. Yes. Uh, Evan and I go way back. We met a couple Gen Cons ago, and at Worlds, and uh, you know we just kind of kind of hang out, kind of have a good chat, and that's what we're gonna do for you guys right now for all of your enjoyment. And the first thing we gotta cover, Evan, yes. is you are the marketing coordinator, one of three now. Yes, that's Fantasy correct. Flight Games. So whenever people are having a Fantasy Flight Games-based experience, what part of that experience <laughs> do they thank you for? Uh, well, they can thank me for the articles that go up on the website. I write a portion of those. Um, various ads that go out in GTM that you'll see on all kinds of different websites, on Board Game Geek and such. Uh, I write those. Um, and generally, just coordinating the products, we're the ones who sort of spearhead the marketing on them with the help of the graphic designers. And then you also play a role in the uh, like Card Game DB and that that side of the, the world as well, right? Yep. Yeah, I currently oversee the the FFG forums and then Card Game DB and its forums. Beautiful. So tell us, tell me what what is like what's an average day for Evan Johnson at Famous Fly Games? You come in, yep. you play a couple rounds of Star Wars, <laughs> you drink some coffee. Uh, then you write an article or two, and then you go home, right? That's basically what it looks like, right? Eh? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> no, that, 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 that rarely happens. Um, usually, so I come in um, at, at 9 in the morning or whatever, um, and it, dep it really depends on the day. Yeah. It, can, it can change a lot. Um, actually, playing the games is a very small part of my job. I usually play a game once or twice, just so I know it enough to write about it. Right. But um, we do a lot of writing. I would say probably 75% of the work I do during the week is just straight writing articles I and mean, ads. You guys have a ton of articles going up now. I feel like this yeah. new website hit, and I don't know if there's actually a, an actual difference than the amount of articles that are being produced. There probably is. You can probably tell me. but. Nowadays, it's like there's like six articles going up every day, it seems like, for all of these various Fantasy Flight products, and you are one of the ones that are spearheading that effort. I imagine that takes a good deal of like energy and time to stay on top of these franchises and, and game licenses enough to like write consistently about everything, right? Yeah. How do you how do you manage that? I mean, it's it's definitely a time commitment, you know, to, to stay on the up and up with Star Wars and with a, a Game of Thrones. Not that new information has come out for that in a while, yeah. but, uh, you know, and, and Games Workshop and everything. It's just, uh, but it's also, like, it, like, it's what we love. It's what we all love. And so yeah. it, I don't mind rereading, you know, I'm rereading A Clash of Kings right now uh, to bone up on my Game of Thrones knowledge. And that's fine nice. because I love it. Yeah, so. yeah, it seems like a reasonable trade. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're a big Star Wars fan, I know. You're a big Star Wars a card game player. Yes. Uh, and you're also playing Throne Second Edition. So let's start with Star Wars. All right. You as a player, not necessarily as an FFG employee, uh, what's got you excited about Star Wars right now? Right now, I'm loving the Rogue Squadron cycle. I... I, I love the, the piloting mechanic, yeah. though it's created some kind of weird rule situations. But th that aside, it's just it's so much fun to have this fleet of you know your rebels or your tie fighters or whatever, and just yeah. slotting the pilots on. It's very very cool, very thematic. Are you a rebel player ultimately? I would say I'm a smugglers player at oh, heart. Oh really? Yeah. Man, I would so put you in the rebel camp. Smugglers, after all. What about dark side? Dark side. I don't know. I I really like Sith, but I've played Sith for years, so yeah. I've uh, I've kind of migrated over to the Imperial Navy scum side of things. Right. What about what about third second edition? So you're yeah. all those preview articles. Did you write all of those? Yes, I wrote all of them. Amazing. Uh, what was that experience like to be the guy who's unveiling this new model, this new game? To an entirely, uh, you know, new and old audience. It was awesome. It was uh, it, the lead up to Game of Thrones is the biggest LCG marketing launch that we've ever done. It was, it was awesome. I uh, just going deep into all of these factions. I have this huge book on my desk, desk uh, the World of Ice and Fire that you may know yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. It's just this this tome all about Westeros, and yeah. so I was reading that every day and like going into the different houses, their history and stuff, just to get all of that into the articles. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Uh, so what, where are you with Thrones? What, what faction are you leaning towards? <laughs> I, I would guess, but I would get it wrong, obviously. I don't have any well, idea. What would you guess? I would guess Tyrell. 
That's close. I love Terrell. Martell is ultimately my favorite. Martell. Yeah. You see, you're just way trickier than I expected, ultimately. <laughs> so how, how have you liked your Martell experience out at the Corvac? Now that we actually have the boxes in print and in our hands, I can I feel comfortable asking you, you know, yeah. how has it been? How's the experience of playing this game been? It's good. At the at the current moment, I feel like Martell is really strongest as, as a banner faction rather than a main faction on its own, but I'm fine with that. That's very thematic. You know, yeah. right, we're right here at the beginning of the story. You know, Martell didn't, didn't play this huge mover and shaker role. You know, they, right. they were helping, they were playing behind the scenes. Right. So I, I'm totally okay with where Martell is right now, and, and I'm enjoying it. Well, I have to wonder, you know, these, these are living card games, and I've talked to a lot of the designers of these games about this concept, about how they are supposed to move and flow and... It's not that everything is 100% like down the line the same throughout the entire game's history. It's like sometimes these cards are strong and sometimes they're weak and that kind of thing. Yeah. Do you think that the cycles are going to kind of plot the traditional kind of Game of Thrones curve? It's like maybe the Martells start to rise in this cycle and then they fall down a little bit in this next cycle. The Starks rise and fall. You think that's what we'll see? Uh, maybe. I, I really couldn't say. I mean, like I, I'm not. I don't work with the LCG team, so I don't really know what's coming up. Yeah. But um. It'll be awesome to see. I, I'm very excited to see how the houses move because I'm sure they will change in yeah. power and as they go along. Well, the the last thing that we got to talk about, uh, which we, we've talked about a few times, you're a, you're a father now. This is true. Six months yes. of fatherhood. Yes. And uh, I know a lot of our audience probably on both sides, both male and female, and uh, are making these kinds of decisions, right? So like this is like our age group generally. Yeah. Um, what would you say to people who are thinking about this life decision? Okay, so like we talked about it a little bit at Worlds and, and before then. It's like, you know, it's a tough kind of decision for two people to make. Yeah. Where are you now, six months in? It's a very hard decision. It's like, and, and, it, and it, you know, not, not just the decision, but actually ha having a child and raising it, it's very hard. It changes your life, but it is 100% worth it. I would say three thumbs up. Have kids. <laughs> you, you heard it here first. Three thumbs up for children from marketing <laughs> coordinator Evan Johnson. Perhaps marketing for life, human life as well. Uh, Undoubtedly. <laughs> this has been an interview with Evan from Fantasy Flight Games area in the tournament hall at Gen Con 2015. Thanks for joining us, guys. We've got a ton more interviews and conversations coming from this area, so stay tuned. We'll see you then.